All right, now going on to chapter uh, 6.2. 6 or 6.2, this would be a lot of fun here. Uh, so starting with this section, we want to learn about uh, the intersection of two, of two sets. All right, so we're going to be um, um, intersecting two sets here. And the way that we symbolize that is we use A to mean like this is one set. We're going to call it A. We have a set B. And basically a set is just a number of elements within the set. So maybe if I had like the, the number one, two, and three. Actually down here, see how set A has has elements one, two, three, four, five, six. So A is the set, kind of like your basket. And then your numbers inside the basket are called your, your elements. All right. So if I have a set A and a set B, if I want to see what is the intersection of them, then the way that we symbolize this is a capital A with an upside down capital U and then a B. So this means this means the intersection of A and B. That's what this means uh, right here. Okay, um, going on right here now. Uh, so what we want to do is just see how this looks here. So if I have if I have um, set A, which is my circle right here, and then if I have set B, which is my circle right here, the intersection of them visually we can see is the part that's highlighted right here, right? So that's basically what it means when we find the intersection of two sets is set A has its own elements, set B has its own elements. We're only interested in when do they intersect? When do they share the same value? So check this out right here. For example, one A, Okay, so we're given uh, set A, B, C, and D, and we're trying to find uh, the intersection of A and B. So here's the intersection, or actually here's A, and here's B. When, 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 what do, what do they have in common, right? Because that's what it means when they intersect. So it's whatever they have in common. Well, they have uh, the one in common, they have the three in common, and they have the five in common. Well, isn't one, three, five the same thing as B? So, so really the answer right here is just B. Or if you want to, you can write it in set notation and write one, three, and then five. I mean, you, you can write like that as well, but the answer is really just set B. How about the intersection of um, A and B? Um, oh, okay, so I, I think I said A and B here, but you can say A and B or B and A, so really they mean the same thing. Um, so if you, if you intersect A and B or B and A, you're going to get the same answer. So I'm just going to put uh, the same answer right here. How about intersection of A and D? Again, when I say the word intersect, I mean what do they have in common? Well, here's A and D. The only terms that they have in common is four, right? So just like that. So the answer is just four. And the intersection of B and C? So here's B and here's C. Well, they have one in common. And that's it, there's no six, so they have uh, one in common. And that's how you find the intersection of two sets.